but same result as they were getting in the past. 4-0 so far, and the growth of Olivia Thomas in the center up top. Going to need to get Cordon up there out top, loose and free. See if he can sneak in behind that back line, that very young back line of North Carolina. Be surprised if they find a the guy one more time. There she is. Good patience there from Carolina. Gatino from way downtown. And saved diving is Grace Miller, the freshman from San Diego. These are going to be important moments right here for North Dakota's defense because they're going to be on defense so much. When they've got an opportunity to have possession, they can't turn it over like that. Olivia Thomas. Olivia Thomas. You know, seeing Olivia Thomas part of a very effective combo with Avon Alvarez. Those two platooning and right in front off of Elgin. Hits the crossbar. Should be 1-0. It was right at the 6. Unlucky Emerson Elgin. It's playing a ball from distance and then crossing the field with it as well. You see numbers getting packed in where the ball is played. It leaves some spaces to move. Elgin just not quite able to make the timing on that one though. Hope she was not able to use her head. You nailed it, Kyle. Good minute or two, and now they have a corner kick. Possession heavily in favor of the home team, the Tar Heels. Kept this one alive. Still loose in front, turning on it. Gatino! And Gatino has scored. It's 1-0 North Carolina. Third goal of the season for Bella Gatino. Already making a name for herself. As Gatino is on top of the six for this corner kick. Goes to Gatino, and Gatino gets her head on it. And it's parried away. Gatino, what a weapon to have. Gives it up to Elgin, right back to Dominguez. Dominguez. Elgin! And right in the hands of Miller. The ACC, including the preseason ranking, some other games coming up down the row. This one down near the end. And Right in the hands again of Grace Miller. Back across again, looking for that second goal before the halftime whistle. Armstrong. Kept alive, Elgin. Gets it off of their left foot. Elgin did quite a bit with very little space right there. Men's soccer team in town to take on Carlos Samuano on what I believe is his birthday, if I saw it correctly. It is his birthday, so Carlos Samuano's birthday. Down near the end line. Falling and saved. Trying to run onto it for the Tar Heels. There's also been, if you've been around the program, just some really tough and untimely devastating injuries for those teams. Here's a shot from distance. Really great job by Thomas to hold it up perfectly and then running onto it is Sember. Giant holding center mids that just would boss games and then also have great touches. That's who she reminds me of. A little foul and it'll be a penalty called. So a penalty given for the Tar Heels with a chance to make it a 2-0 lead. Able to get it deep in that box with the one touch leaves it off. The defense is late coming over. Easy whistle for the referee and a great give and go there. It's definitely a penalty. And Bella Sember now on the whistle. Sember with the right and slides it in. And North Carolina with a 2-0 lead. Miller guessed right. Sember able to just get it all the way to the... Back heel pass from Penny. Back across, trying to find means. Fossey's there. Fossey will get it. Fossey's made it 3-0 Tar Heels. Back heel pass from Penny. Back across, trying to find means. Fossey's there. Fossey will get it. Fossey's made it 3-0 Tar Heels. Just like that, Tar Heels going the other way. Means! Big time save again. Save number 10 on the game for Miller. Lately able to get to that one first, so it'll be one more free kick. They got a rush, though. Not going to get it in. Final seconds count down. Your final score, North Carolina 3, North Dakota 0.